welcome to this video where we're going to have a look at how tidal evolution can make elliptical orbits circular. So this is actually applicable for planets orbiting stars as well as moons orbiting their planets. Now it's fairly similar to tidal locking which is where the rotation period of an object is the same as its orbital period. It causes the same face always face towards the star or the planet. Now, if we've got an elliptical orbit, let's use the example of a, of a planet. So as it orbits around, if it's elliptical, it gets closer to the star and then further away, because that's how these elliptical orbits work. Now, the gravitational forces, the tides are greatest when it's closest to the star. So it becomes deformed more when it's closest to the star. Now, when it's furthest away on its elliptical orbit, then the tidal forces are less. So the object then relaxes back to a, a less deformed shape than it was before. So throughout one orbit, the planet would basically flex or moon. So it becomes a bit stretched, it then might relax back. So you get this kind of tidal flexing throughout its elliptical orbit. Now, a good example here is Io. So this is one of Jupiter's moons. It's one of the inner ones of the Galilean moons. And the basic internal structure of that is it has a silicate crust. It then has a partially molten mantle and an iron core. But a lot of that internal heat comes from this tidal flexing as it's on an elliptical orbit. Some of it comes from other tidal processes and other um, processes that heat it. But some of it is down to this internal friction due to its orbit and it heats it up. Now that can then drive volcanic activity. So you can see on the right, you've got some images there that show the hot spots on its surface, which are related to volcanic activity. And then there's a nice image on the right of a volcano actually erupting, which has been taken. So this tidal evolution can also drive the volcanic activity on an object. So that orbital energy that it had from elliptical orbit then move into a more circular one is then dissipated as heat inside the object. So as the orbit becomes more circular, then that object becomes hotter. So that's what then drives your volcanic activity. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy, you can check out some of the other videos.